Perfect. Guys, you will not believe this. My camera overheated. As soon as the camera went off, look at this. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guess what guys, I am back at Wright Patman Spillway. We're below the dam today. I got Papa 903. Say what's up Papa 903. Hey, how y'all doing? Yes sir, we're out here today and we're doing some unique crappie fishing I would say. The water is really high. As y'all can see behind us, the water is really up right now, okay? They're releasing about 4,100 CFS at the dam back this way. And what we're doing today, guys, is these crappie are in these willow trees right here, okay? They're all up in these willows. Now, we have a couple of different techniques that we could do. We could vertical jig for these crappie. We could throw a slip cork and minnow. That's about all that, that we can do with these willows. There is a ton of brush underneath here as well. And when the water's really low, you can see that brush. But we're gonna try to get on these crappie for you guys. If you haven't, smash that like button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. And if you're already subscribed, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love crappie fishing, not only love crappie fishing, but wanna learn different types of techniques to catch these crappie, Smash that subscribe button. Come join the 903 Fishing Family. We would love to have you. Let's go see what we can do today. Y'all stay tuned. There he is. There he is. Hey, Dad. Yeah. It's close. Huh? It's pretty close. All right, guys, we got her. This this would be my second keeper, and it is ten and a half. Look at that, guys, ten and a half. We got three in the cooler already. We're seeing what we can do today. This is going to be a very unique situation we got here. All right, let's do this again, baby. Who? Got me a little hoe. Well, I need. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. That's gonna be a keeper fish too, I think. Let's see what it looks like. Hey dad, 10 and a half. <laughs> 10 and a half, guys, look at that. No giants, but there could be a giant lurking in there. Hopefully we can pick him up out of here, guys. Y'all stay tuned. There's a little cut over here, guys, where I'm tossing this minnow right on the edge of these willow trees in here. Oh, that's a good one, Dad. Well, I said it was a good one. Not as big as I initially thought. Guys, this right here is all about casting. If you can, if you can cast in that hole, you'll get, I'll get a bite every time. Every time's a fish. It's just casting in that hole. Look at that dead minnow, guys. I mean, dead minnow. Threading them on like usual. Oh, that should be a fish. Another little guy. Look at that. Fun as heck, though. I tell you what, guys. It's fun. And then when you do catch a keeper, feels even better. Threading these minnows on, guys. Look, through the mouth, out the gill, back through that top of the back. I'm trying to get right up on that willow tree over there. And if I get it on the side of it, it's 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 game over. Look at that, he's on. Look at that. Look at that. Uh-oh, Dad. Done hit it. Yes, sir. That's gonna be a keep, guys. That's gonna be a keeper. I'm gonna say 10 and a half on him. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, that's almost 11, Dad. It's almost 11, 10 and three quarter. Nice. Like I said, no giants, guys, but hey, 
good eaters and we're catching crappie so what else more do i want nothing let's go get another one i put it right on the edge of that willow that time right there can we go back to back keeps i don't know there he is there's three off the minnow uh-oh uh-oh and we gotta keep we gotta keep dad look at that oh check it out dad look at that guys that's a good fish hey guys three fish off that one minnow he swallowed me i'm gonna have to get this off camera i'll be right back all right guys there he is i ain't put him on checker yet i know he's 10 i know he's 10 that's 11 11 inches baby let's go like i said three fish off one minnow guys and two are keepers i'll, I'll take that ratio all day let's go get another one okay guys today i'm using my eight foot acc crappie sticks right here and ideally i wouldn't want to use this long of a rod i wish i had a six six slip corked up but this is what i'm working with today in these tight conditions right here we got the viper x 1000 from pc fun be sure to go check out pcfun.com use code 903 fish 15 to save you 15 percent and we are pitching up in these willows trying to get these crappie to bite they're there lots of small fish guys but we're kind of just weeding through those smaller ones till we get a, a keeper on there maybe i'm not getting bit deeper i thought i was but i don't think i am unless he he was on the whole time and i didn't even know it dad and that's close he was on the whole time and i didn't know it i, I don't think he's gonna keep but hey guys dad look at that that is just under 10 right there gotta throw him back gotta be 10 inches in the state of texas guys 10 inches can't get lazy with my cast now uh-oh uh-oh we're in business baby we're in business that's a good one hey guys that's a good fish that's probably the biggest one i've caught today that's mm, yeah that's over 11 dad almost 11 and a half inches will you stop you're going in the cooler buddy sorry all right guys another keeper in the cooler i believe that's six right now let's go get another I sucker hit it i didn't even move it guys okay dad okay okay there he is dad that's a keep hey dad i went about six foot went about a foot shallower maybe them crappie can see that minnow better oh yeah hey guys that's 11 just shy of 11 there we go let's go baby we're kind of just weeding through those smaller ones till we get a, a keeper on there there's another one there's a small one like i said but either way they're, they're still fun that just makes when you do catch a keeper that makes it that much better yeah like i said lots of smalls today but we're putting some keepers in the cooler i did catch two keepers a while ago within three fish i caught two keepers so there are keepers down there we just gotta hope they're they're the ones that bite i was fishing about seven feet now i've done went up to six try to see maybe those bigger fish maybe sitting up higher in the water column a little bit it's probably about eight feet over there in those bushes there he is is that a crappie oh dad oh dad oh dad look at that one look at that dad good fish man keeper all day that's 11 guys look at that dad 11 inch baby let's go 11 inch crappie for the wind baby let's see if we can go get another one so what i'm doing is guys i'm fluctuating between about probably six to eight feet or so deep that's where i'm fluctuating with it i'll catch a few fish and i'll go a little deeper go a little shallower 
just kind of you know kind of cover that water column the best i can if i quit getting bites at a certain depth i'll go shallower or go deeper then usually once i switch it up look at there oh i got hit usually once i switch up that depth i'll catch a fish so those crappie are moving There he is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, Dad, we're back rolling here. We're back rolling, baby. Guys, they stopped biting on us. I mean, almost completely shut off there for a second, for about 10, 15 minutes. This is the first keeper I've caught in a while, but it's a good one. I mean, that's, a, that's 11 and a half right there. We'll take that all day. I believe that's eight crappie in the cooler. I still got that minnow. Let's see if they're starting to pick back up again. That's what we need right there. Uh oh. They up in there, Dad. That's a good one. Look at that. They up in there. Hey guys, another keeper baby. We rolling. That one is just over 11. Just over 11, baby. Let's go. All right guys, we're getting a little sack in there. Let's see if we can add to it. Look at that, Dad. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Right, hey, right by the tree. I'm talking about I am right by it. Wow, that was crazy how that worked. Hey, that's close, ain't it, Dad? That's close. Hey, Dad, 10 and a quarter. Hey guys, 10 and a quarter. I don't know if y'all saw that. I hope y'all saw that right there, right down beside that tree. That's 10 and a quarter. We're gonna go ahead and keep that one, guys. We're grocery fishing today, so 10 and a quarter, baby. Nice, let's go get another one. Okay, guys, I stuck this minnow right down here. Let's see if I, we can do it again. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that. Oh. Big one? No. So it's like a decent one. Hold on. I ain't gonna give up on you. No, that's a good fish. Oh, wait, there he is, Dad. There he is. Look at that. I think that's gonna keep. <laughs> Let's go. Right underneath the tree. I think that's another 10 and a quarter. Hey, look. Dad, that's almost 10 and, well, hold on. Look at that, guys. Ten and a quarter. Need another, uh, he's, well, heck, he's almost ten and a half. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. Nice. Camera. Let's go. Guys, you will not believe this. My camera overheated. As soon as the camera went off, look at this. Oh, is that a two-pounder, Dad? That's a two-pounder. That's a two-pounder? That's a two-pounder. <laughs> Where's your way deal? It, it's in here. Hey, it's right here. Can you get it? It's right there in that pouch. As soon as I turn the camera there off, guys. There's a monster fish right here, I bet. No, that's not even close. It's you a, sure? It's a 1.7. seven. It says it's a 1.7. Really? I thought it was a little bit. Well, 1.66. I thought it was a little bigger than that, man. That's a big fish. Wow. Guys, look at that. That is a stud. That is a stud. How long is this joker? I can't believe my camera overheated. As soon as I, as soon as I dropped down, my camera overheated. Dad, 15 and a half. <laughs> you hear me, Dad? 
15 and a half guys that is a giant that's a giant let's go that's a that makes heck, that crop you could eat some of those in there let's go baby let's go catch another one there it goes there's that i think i'm deep enough he's on caleb help me help oh my god okay flip him flip him I'm get him it oh Ah, oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, you okay? Yeah, I got it. It's I got behind it. you. Before it flops out of the boat. Hold it. Hey, I'm not deep enough. Look. Uh, I went in there. Jesus. <laughs> you want to get it out? Want me to get it? Or you got it? it? Ain't that bad. You're not deep enough? Oh, I saw him. I saw your cord. I got everything right here on camera. I got it all on camera right here. Are you serious? Yeah, I got all that on camera. I didn't get my, my big one on camera. What's going on, guys? Quick update, all right? We, for the past hour or so, we actually started to uh, fish right down beside this big willow tree that we've been sitting beside for a couple of hours. And we started catching bigger crappie off of this willow tree. It's kind of hard to get it down in there. As you can see, dad's trying to get his cork in there right now. And you gotta kind of pick and poke in there. But once you get it past that layer of willow leaves, that first little layer, it will go down right, you almost got it. Right there, there it is, he's in. And guys, every time it's a bite. I mean, sometimes it may take longer than others, but it's a bite. Uh, we're gonna see if, if dad gets bit right here. Of course, we can't get one on camera for you guys, but that's okay. Uh, we're trying, but you know what? We got about 10 to 12 minnows left and we're gonna go ahead and use those up for you guys. Let's see how many more keeper crappie we can put in the boat. And if you have it, right now is a good time to smash that like button. And also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, right now is a great time to do that as well. Hit that subscribe button and come join the 903 Fishing Family. Let's see how many more we can flip in here with these ACC crappie sticks. Y'all stay tuned. Oh no. Now I went through the bush that time. You hear me? What? I said I went, oh, there, look at that, look at that. Oh God, it's a giant, I bet. It is a giant. Oh my God. It's a giant. Oh it's a giant <laughs> hey guys we don't found some biggins <laughs> hey guys hey guys oh we don't found some big <laughs> guys this tree right here the whole time this tree right here the whole time has been holding some big fish and we, we we've been fishing over here y'all saw me casting over here in these bushes the whole time guys look what the mess what the mess guys that's a 14 probably are you serious wow let's go get another one okay so i put that right in here can i get it to go back down there is the question you got to kind of maneuver it in there there it is right there no i could just tell by the way he bit it was a big one. Oh, oh it's another one it's another one it's another one. Oh my God, it ain't even. It's, it's another one. Not even. It's not as big, but hey, no, but that's deep. solid fish. Hell yeah, it's a solid dude. <laughs> they're right at the, on that. They're on the base of the tree, and they're, hey, I bet they're loaded. No measurement needed, guys, on this one. Not as big as those three, those last three we've caught, but wowza. Let's see if I can get back off in there, I guess. Took me a second. To, oh, hey, that's a good fish. Hey, Caleb, they're biting like this. Oh, I know. They're barely they're biting not, it. They're not even hardly biting. They're just swallowing or whatever. They that's a good fish, guys. They've been under our boat the whole time. Yeah, look, look at that, guys. Wow. Good fish. Wow. He just barely. Nicked. Oh, Dad. Oh. That's Ooh, no. But I just got railed. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look, look. He's down. He's down. I saw it. Oh my gosh. It's another big one. Well, not as big, but it's still a good one. Look at that. 
Oh, it's a good fish. Good fish. Keeper fish right there, guys. I mean, once you pull in a couple 15s, these suckers right here look really small, but that's almost 11. Still a good eater fish right there. Let's go, baby. You got to pull them straight up. You, you can't go, you know, the side. You got to go straight up with it. That's why I'm co coming up like this and getting over it. There it goes. Oh, this is game over, Dad. Hey. Oh, God. See how subtle that was? Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, let's go. I did see how, well, I saw the initial hit though. Hey guys, that's probably 11 and a half for it right there. I'm not gonna measure that one. Not gonna measure that one. Let's go. <clears throat> Good gosh, you got him? Oh, that's a keep. Mm, that's a keeper. Here, I got it. Whew. That's gonna be a keeper too, guys. Hey, Dad. That's a 10 and a half right there. You need another one? Yeah, that's a 10 and a half. Nice. We have ran out of minnows, okay? I did catch a keeper on my last minnow. Didn't have it recording, but we're gonna head back to the boat ramp. We're gonna put these crappie out and let y'all see them. Right now is a great time to hit that like button if you haven't, and also go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. But we're gonna make our way to the boat ramp. It's literally right here. We'll see y'all here in a few. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on, family? We made it back to the ramp right here, and we got our fish laid out, and we ended with 21 today. 21 keepers, and I tell you what, we got a couple of grown men over here. I'm going to show y'all those here in one second. But it was a great time out here with my dad. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, we've never done this type of fishing, really, as far as up in those willows and stuff. So as y'all saw at the beginning of this video, I was pitching a slip cork into that little hole, that little cut that was in between two willow trees. And I caught about eight or nine keepers doing that now something told me just to go ahead and drop right down beside that big willow tree that was beside us and the next thing you know pull out a tank so we ended the trip our last couple of hours were just strictly fishing that one willow tree and it was tough wasn't it dad it was tough fishing i don't know how many times we broke off we had to replace leaders. We had to replace hooks over and over again. And I even tried to vertical jig that spot for about 10 minutes and didn't get one bite. As soon as I put the minnow back on the slip cork, started catching crappie again. These are some of the grown men that we caught right here. I mean, these are giant guys. These are one seven, one eights right here. Look at the shoulders on those fish. I believe the one that we, we scaled in the boat was a one six, six, but these right here are 1718. They're they're big fish, guys. These are some grown men. I tell you what, got some big shoulders on them. My dad and I both use eight foot ACC crappie sticks paired with Viper X 1000s from PC Fun right here. Y'all be sure to go to PCFun.com. Use code 903fish15 to save you 15% off of your order. And don't forget about ACC crappie sticks, guys. This eight footer is a very diverse rod you can do a lot of things with this rod slip fork cast vertical jig with it today slip forking was the ticket like i mentioned earlier these crappie wanted that minnow suspended under a slip fork and that is what we gave them today the water that we were fishing was primarily anywhere from 12 to 14 foot deep and these crappie were suspended anywhere between six and i would say nine feet or so i think eight foot was the ticket eight eight foot deep was the that's where we caught the majority of our crappie today in that eight foot range. Like I mentioned earlier, we ended with 21 today. Great time out here with my dad. And that's what it's all about, guys. Having a good time with family. And I do cherish it. I know sometimes, you know, you, you get caught up in the moment sometimes, but you really got to cherish these moments right here. Um, if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button for me. I wanted to give y'all something a little bit different today. I know you're used to seeing me slip corking brush tops in the open lake in the summertime so hopefully this was a little bit of change of pace for you guys and shout out to all the channel members your names will be at the end of this video they will be on the screen y'all be sure to stick around for that if you already subscribed to the channel god bless you y'all know i would not be doing this without you guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button you love crappie fishing but not only love crappie fishing but you want to see and learn different types of ways to catch crappie this is the channel for you smash that subscribe button Come join the family. 
Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.